basic navigation and editing of spaces. On the upper right, there are four icons. One is for zooming in, another one for zooming out, another one for zooming to extents, and another one for panning. The equivalent commands can also be uh, accomplished by using keys, such as the Z key for zooming in, Shift Z for zooming out, X for extents, and space bar for panning. To edit a plan like this, you must first of all be an owner of the scheme, or the scheme must be in teamwork mode. Select the edit mode. It will now allow you to grab spaces and move them. A single click and move drags a space like this. Shift clicking can select multiple spaces for movement. Selecting a space and then hitting the R button and then clicking to start the rotation angle and then dragging the end rotation point will rotate a space. The same can happen by shift clicking and selecting multiple spaces and hitting the R button for rotation, rotating multiple spaces and moving them. Hitting the space bar allows you to pan around. Editing a space. Let's zoom into space number 13. Notice that if you're zoomed way out and you select a smaller space, you cannot edit the corners. But if you start zooming in, you'll notice a red dot appearing at the corner, which will allow you to change the size of that space. Let's edit space 13. Select the space, a red dot appears, drag, changes the size of the space. Obviously we've changed the area of the space. If you wanted to lock the actual total area of the space, we can select on the right side above the Spaces tab, Lock Floor and Space Areas. This will then constrain the size of the space to the total area. New nodes can be added by hitting the, plus, the blue plus button, which will add a new node between the first node that you're on and the second one, and then you can drag that node out. Test out how the, the stretching works. You'll notice that sometimes the, as you get close to a 90 degree angle, it starts to constrain the space again those two adjacent sides. Continue to add nodes to get more of a freeform shape. And you can also subtract nodes by hitting that red X. The floor slab functions in much the same way. Notice as you select spaces there's a lock button. You can actually decide to lock a single space and you can no longer move that. You can move other ones that are not locked. The floor slab functions in much the same way as spaces. There's a lock. You can unlock the floor slab and edit the floor slab. And then lock it again once you decide that you've decided you've completed the shape. Now the floor slab, slab has changed size and the spaces are still editable.